I want to lose 15 pounds in this last month of 2023 and I'm about to tell you exactly how we, me, you are going to do it. So I've already lost a total of 30 pounds ever since September and I was at my highest weight at 356 on September 4th. I had decided that we needed a change a couple of days before September started. I had saw a bunch of videos like I had researched a bunch of stuff. I've seen a video randomly just watching someone's weight loss video and this girl was talking about alternate day fasting. So I started alternate day fasting. I've done a few videos on it. So definitely go and check the playlist out. I will leave it linked right here in the cards. September 4th, I got two it's okay and ever since then your girl has lost a total of 30 pounds like let's just give a round of applause tell me <laughs> because i did that so in this last month i wrote down my goals and we're about to go across them now i'm going to work out for 45 minutes minimum every single day for the next 30 days because today i've already completed it already did my work Girl, I don't have the ability, the strength to just go out there and walk in the cold. And I know people walk outside, run outside in the cold. Honey, that's not me. I get sick really easily and we're not doing that. <laughs> but I plan on working out in the house every single day for the next 30 freaking days. And then we're going to just come January 1st or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to have some days are going to be a little bit harder than others. Some days are going to be a little bit lesser, you know, softer, you know, you know, that whole thing. But I'm moving this body for 45 minutes plus every single day. I am not going to check my weight this entire month. I have my husband. If you guys saw my recent vlog, I had my husband hide my um, scale because I was telling myself like if I keep stepping on the scale and one day it's, it, it goes up, one day it goes down because you know your weight fluctuates. I'm going to be even more pissed on myself. So January 4th, we're going to check our weight, but the husband already put it up. I can't even reach it. Even if I stood up on a chair, I would still have to stand up on our counter additionally to even get to it. So we are not about to hurt ourselves trying to get to that day of scale, okay? Four bottles of water minimum. Today, I have not drunk a full bottle of water and it's already 11, 15 a.m. So when we're done with this, homegirl is about to go chug a bottle of water. And before 1 p.m., I'm gonna have two in me. And by four, I'm going to have four in me, okay? Because we are not playing around with no dehydration. We're not doing that, we're not doing that. And in the winter time, I find myself not wanting water as much because I'm not, you know, I'm not sweating it all off. There's that. So we're gonna make sure that we're keeping our sales hydrated as possible because i'm going to stay fasting that rolls into the next thing i'm going to stay ultimate day fasting mondays wednesdays and fridays today is friday jeez so today's friday december 1st and your girl is like sticking to her plan stick to the goals stick to the end goal here and which is at first to just get under 300 pounds that is the main goal right but i already know by the end of um january I'm going to be under 300 pounds. By the end of January, I can see myself at 295. Easily. Okay? Easily. And I have goals. And honey, I'm going to keep them. And I'm going to achieve them. Period. <laughs> I plan on doing self-care three times a week. Every time I'm going to have my fasted days, I'm going to dedicate those specific days. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays as days where I am just loving and pouring back into myself. Today, I'm going to take a nice, hot, long shower once we're back from the store and just relax, okay? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I need to love on my body a lot more this month specifically because I plan on, you know, fasting, staying with my fast. But not only, I'm going to be working out every single day. I'm going to need those days to really just hone in on my body listen to my body if I need a nice massage ask hubby for a massage you know what I'm saying like I have to listen to my body and I may even purchase some Epsom salt today while we're out so that if I or my husband need to just like soak in a bath a hot bath just soak in a bath we have that ability to do that just fine so I'm going to very much keep a positive mindset throughout this month because Losing weight is not a race with anybody else. It's not a marathon. It's very much your own personal journey. And you can walk it as slow or as fast as you want. And me, right now, baby, right now, <laughs> I plan on 
doing as best as I can to get myself under 300 pounds. I have a goal to see that scale say 299 and baby, it's going to say it. It's going to say it within the next month and a half. I can guarantee you that, okay? I can guarantee you that because I lost 16 pounds my very first month of ADS and I was hitting it hard, hitting it hard. And I can't say September was like my best month. Y'all are just so just rude. In September, I had lost a total of 16 pounds. In the month of October, I didn't really track that. And then in the month of December, in the month of November, that's when I found out I had lost a total of 30 freaking pounds. So I was really excited about that. So now, like I said, I'm, I'm taking away the ability to be able to see my weight. I don't have any doctor's appointments at all in the month of December outside of therapy. And in therapy, they don't check your weight. So <laughs> I am so excited. I'm so ready. I'm so pumped. And alternate day fasting is something that is working. It's sticking. It's it's something that I can see myself doing for the next foreseeable future. You know what I'm saying? So that is my December goals. This is December 1st. I finished my workout today and I told myself, like I told y'all, 45 minutes. I may not hit 10K every single day, especially with me not having a treadmill, which we're working on because I do have a new job. Praise Jesus. Thank you to the Lord. Thank you to the Lord. Okay. We do have a job now. So I'm saying like we're in third person. Girl stuff. Me. I. <laughs> I have a job now so I'm able to purchase myself a treadmill and that is a purchase I'll probably do at the end of December going into the new year being able to get back on that treadmill because right now getting to the gym I already know I already know it's gonna be a struggle your girl is low vision so like that that's the whole thing but I'm staying positive I'm staying positive keeping positive having a positive mindset every day is not going to be great and I know I'm a woman so the cycle is going to come and it's going to you know deteriorate how I'm feeling at the moment so December 1st I may be like oh my god I'm having the best time but honestly realistically when my cycle come on in the next week or two probably in the next two weeks in the next two weeks I may be sick of singing a different tune okay I may not be wanting to work out <laughs> okay also to add to everything else I can still get my steps in. I can do a mile in one spot videos and still get my steps in. This morning I was walking from my living room window all the way to my back door. And I did that a bunch of times for 30 minutes and I was able to do 13, not 13,000, child, no, about 3,000 steps. And I was able to do 0 0.7 miles. So almost to a mile with that. And if I would have kept walking until like 45 minutes or did a full hour, I definitely would have been able to hit well over a mile just in my house. That's with no equipment. That's just me walking and pacing back and forth. I did feel a little weird doing it because my window is a big window <laughs> in our living room and the neighbors, I be thinking about people seeing me. But once again, this is my journey. This is my journey. I am going to definitely get to my goal of being under 299 okay i want to be 298 just to make sure i'm gonna creep back over to 300 okay because that is scary that scared me to see 300 plus i was almost 360 pounds i was almost 360 pounds and every time i think about that i just be like girl what the fuck you know what i'm saying so that is my update. That is my update. That is my goals for December. 